Hello, I'm Kristen Rogers. It's Wednesday, August 21st. Here's a look at today's top stories from your trusted local news source. Highway 100 is back open near Marion this morning after a crash that left two people with injuries. Here's video of the crash on Tuesday. It happened around 3:30 at Highway 144th Street near Marion. Each driver got hurt. Crews closed the area for several hours while first responders cleared the scene. Officials have not said what caused the crash. This morning, an Iowa teenager is dead following a crash in Marshall County. Iowa State Patrol says the crash happened just before 2:30 Tuesday afternoon. According to the report, an ATV crossed the center line and collided with a pickup truck. 17 year old Keegan Borton died at the scene. On Tuesday, the Iowa City City Council examined the one year progress of fare free transit. The number of people riding city buses has gone up by 43% compared to last year. In 2023, city leaders decided to implement the program using COVID-19 relief funds. The fare free transit will now be funded by federal funding, raising parking fees and a 1% utility tax, which will begin in fiscal year 26. The program was only intended to run for two years, but based on increased ridership and positive feedback, council members say they have no intention of going back to a paid service. The feedback I've gotten from the community, my own observations and the presentation tonight, I, I honestly can't imagine not supporting it. And, and unless though absolutely not going back, that's not <laughs> something I'm going to support. The council wants public transit to be so reliable and accessible that families feel comfortable selling their cars and use savings to afford housing and other necessities. Thanks for watching. Tune into TV9 and KCRG.com for the latest updates and breaking news.